This week, find out what it's like to cook in a camper van, prepare healthy meals, and Kate shares one of her Instant Pot recipes. We get questions all the time about Kate's cooking, where we put everything, how we're able to store food in such a small refrigerator and that sort of thing. So we figured we'd show you guys what that is like and preparing meals and just living out of the van for a day. So a slice of van life cooking edition. Cooking edition. Da -da -da. Kate may share some recipes. And Joe may make coffee. Again. Da -da -da. Well, it's not a camper van life. The video, our camper van. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> our video series isn't complete. Wait. wait. Okay. If, if you, you guys, don't make... if you guys want to see all of these bloopers, head over to Patreon and become part of the WTR family. Because every week on Saturday, after we share these videos on Wednesday, we put up a blooper reel. Stuff like this makes it into the video on a regular basis. We've really changed the way we eat, and it's a lot easier, I think, to make healthy meals and plan healthy meals when we're cooking at home. People are surprised to learn that we only eat out two to three times a month. Most of those meals eaten now are because we have family and friend visiting, or we have business meetings to go to. Otherwise, we cook all of our meals at home. In case you're wondering, we had steamed purple sweet potatoes, and almonds for brunch. What are we having for dinner? And we had cantaloupe. What else did we have? Brunch, brunch is one of those things where we just sort of make stuff that's in the van and put it together and snack our way through the morning. Oh, and sardines. We had sardines. Let's not forget about our sardines. So I'm putting the Instant Pot aside. What are we having for and dinner? We could do salmon over quinoa stew or sure. something along those lines. That sounds good. Well, we'll film it. So whatever we end up making, you guys will get to see later. People ask us about food storage in the van. How often do we go to the grocery store? And can we actually cook like with fresh food in the van? Which, yes we can. One of the things I looked into before we moved into van life was what vegetables and fruits actually have to be stored in the fridge because we have such a small fridge. And it turns out, and if you guys haven't looked into this, you should search on the internet for food storage for fresh produce because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't need to be refrigerated. So we end up keeping a lot of stuff on the counter. Lots of garlic. It's not a Chinese Italian household unless there's a lot of garlic. We've got avocados, a lot of citrus, kabucha squash. I love the winter time because you can keep a lot of hearty vegetables out. Um, we also have a spaghetti squash in here. When I lived in a dormitory in college, my dorm fridge was bigger than this. And the fridge we have in here is 3.1 cubic feet. Starting at the top, we've got our freezer. It's currently packed with salmon. And we get these individually packaged uh, fillets of salmon from Costco because when they come in little packages like this, it's really easy to fit it into little nooks and crannies in the fridge and maximize the storage space in here. Two dozen eggs on top, five pounds of carrots right now, more salmon, avocado. We have six romaine hearts, uh, three packages of tofu. We have organic miso, more eggs. And I think there's about 12 packs of edamame in this fridge. Yep. Scattered throughout. In the door. In the door. Joe's got his beer. We have flaxseed, hemp hearts, Thai curry seasoning, some Italian flat leaf parsley right now. So the fridge is very well packed. So we'll get those defrosted for dinner. If we plan properly, we can easily get away with only going grocery shopping once a week. But I happen to love grocery shopping, so we probably go a lot more frequently than most people would. I do need to clean the Instant Pot. It's still dirty from brunch earlier. Everything in the van is about shuffling. Limited counter space, 
things have to shuffle. <laughs> Just like Joe and I shuffle, this stuff all shuffles too. So the Instant Pot in a given day could be here, over there, on a seat, on the bed, or over on the dining table. And as far as cooking gadgets go, the Instant Pot is it. I really don't cook with anything else. I do have a second pot, but I cook almost exclusively with the Instant Pot now. I only have one pot to clean. Makes for easy cleanup. And with limited counter space, it's nice to just have one pot to move around. And now that we don't use the gas stove anymore, it's extra counter space, which I know I've really appreciated, and you too. Yeah. Because before you would have to move everything off the stove to make your coffee. And now you can make your coffee anywhere. You just have to have a place to plug in your kettle. Speaking of making coffee, once you're done cleaning your pot, I'm gonna make myself some coffee. Would you like some tea? Uh, sure, I love some tea. Okay. Small skillet, big skillet, non-stick, all stainless steel. I mean, I had it all. And now I just cook out of the Instant Pot. And we make really healthy meals, I think. Don't you? Absolutely. Oh, another thing I didn't mention is all of Leo's meals get cooked in the Instant Pot too. So yeah, on average, not only are we cooking two to three meals in the Instant Pot for us, but we're also cooking for Leo. Remember the couple we met in Oregon? They also make home cooked meals for their dog. Yeah. And they were concerned about, you know, transitioning to van life and how they were going to manage that. And I said, Instant Pot is the way to go. I mean, you can make so many great meals for your pets in the Instant Pot, too. And there's so many good recipes online. Another thing to consider one pot to wash, one pot to dry, one pot to store. And one pot to store. Yes. Although I did see they have a uh, ceramic coated pot now. Might have to look into that. Well, I'm very excited about this dinner you're going to make tonight. Yeah. I, I love your quinoa stews with salmon on top. It's going to be delicious. And cleanup is all done. You know what that means? Coffee time. Coffee time. Hang my gloves up. Oh, I lost a. Mignola or Tangelo or whatever you call that thing. I'm not sure what it is. I do know it's tasty. Oh, and that's, you know, people ask us what we eat for snacks. Like, where do you put all your snacks? And my answer is, well, we don't really eat snacks, but if you consider fruit snacks, we have plenty of room for fruit. We have almonds and peanuts. Uh, when we run out of one, we might get some pistachios macadamia nuts but that's about it we recently got this electric kettle and i have to say it's my new favorite coffee gadget because not only can i set the temperature of the water on here but it frees me from having to move everything off of the stove so before kate would have to get out of the kitchen i would have to clear everything off the stove make my coffee and then put it all back i no longer have to do that which is really nice Set it at 175. One of the reasons I really like the electric kettle is with the stove top kettle, whenever Kate would begin filming, I'd have to turn the kettle off, wait till she was ready, turn it back on. And to get that just at the right point was almost impossible when I was being filmed. Here I can just set it and forget it and it'll hold the temperature for me. Is Leo still passed out? Uh-huh. He's kind of following the shade as it moves across the grass. Look at that, perfect. Cheers. All right, I'm going back to relaxing. Leo, what do you think? How much quinoa do you feel like? Uh, two servings. 
My favorite downsizing moment when we moved into van life was I got rid of our full size can opener and dug out this old camping can opener. It takes up very little room and it works really well. What kind of seasoning do you feel like? Uh, Italian. What about garlic? Oh, absolutely. If you're putting in Italian seasoning, you have to put in garlic. That's the, that's the rule. If one person eats garlic in the van, the other person has to eat garlic. It's one of the golden rules of van life. <laughs> Coffee. Six minutes. Turn the keep warm function off. All right, actually, I'm gonna drop that down to five minutes. Clean up time. So are you gonna put the salmon on top in five minutes and then? Yeah, so the plan is I'm going to cook the quinoa first. Once that's done, I'll release the pressure, put the salmon on top, cook it another few minutes, and then we'll have dinner. Great, I'm excited. Are you going to share in this video the way we eat now? Because that seems to come up quite a bit. But I think it's also changed since the first time we talked about it. And I don't know, I just, I guess people are really interested in the way we eat because so many people have reached out to us and said that they've been inspired, especially by you and all the way that you've lost in the way that we've been eating. And I think people are just really curious to learn more so that they can take some tidbits that maybe they can apply to their life and eat healthier, plan better, healthier meals and stay healthy, like exactly. we said. Exactly, yeah. So, let me put my knife away as I shuffle things in the cabinets. The key to van life, well, there are many keys to van life, but. Especially the one to drive it. Yes, you need a key to drive it. The learning to shuffle, maximize space. Putting things away every time you're done with it. Where it's supposed to go. Yes. All right. Ooh, it, do you hear it gurgling? I do. Let's see. Ooh. Looks good. Oh, it smells good already. Leo, what are you up to, bud? He's, he's shuffling too. Yes. <laughs> From one end of the van to the other. I'm still impressed that he was able to get himself under the driving area and pass out yesterday. I mean, he was there for a couple good hours just mm -hmm. sleeping. Every inch of floor space in this van belongs to Leo. So, how do we eat now? Well, let's go back a little ways. When we first got in the van, we were plant-based, meaning all the foods we ate were only derived from plants, uh, very little to no processed foods and things like that. Since then, we've taken that a bit further and we've started to add in things like sardines. Uh, we will do chicken liver, organic pasture raised. So we're trying to be very conscious of what we're eating, how much we're eating. We like to measure out things. So if we're gonna have almonds, rather than just grabbing an arbitrary handful, we take that handful put it in a measuring cup and we know how many servings we're having. I think that was the big turning point for me. Measuring and weighing all of our food, and I know at first it sounds like it can be very tedious, which it is. Um, I also kept track of everything I was eating, the number of calories I was having. And after a while, I didn't have to measure anymore because I kind of already knew what a portion size looked like. I've lost going on 40 pounds now. So I feel much better. I'm enjoying the way we're eating. It's much easier for me now to have a big bowl of quinoa or kale or you know any of the other unmentionable things that I used to call people crazy for eating before, but now I'm one of those people and I enjoy it. Being more conscious of what it is that's going from your plate to your mouth. I think that was the big thing for me. Is the one thing you can control is what happens from here to here. Smells so good in here. 
Cheers. Cheers. This is amazing. I've already dug through most of my salmon. Now I'm getting into the quinoa. It's okay, I started too. You know, eating like this, I have no problem eating healthy. If I was cooking for myself, it'd probably be a different story. But I love these creations that you come up with. Thank and you. it's simple. It's simple and it was really easy and fast. Right, Leo? And he's like, there's salmon in there. Whoops. <laughs> oh, oh, he wants a piece. Do you want a piece of salmon, bud? Gentle. Oh. Gentle. You almost lost a finger. I know. Good boy. We're gonna get back to our meal. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Now the real work begins. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and ding the bell for notifications of new videos. If you'd like to learn how to become part of the WTR family, check out Patreon. Otherwise, check out the camper van series from the beginning by clicking right up here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.